What's up, everybody? My name is Ellie Gamo. I'm the baseballologist. I'm here as an ambassador for Blast Motion. I've been playing baseball since I was three years old. I played high school, played college. Hitting is what got me a scholarship in college, and that's what really made me like invested in coaching, invested in hitting, and I really want to take hitting to the next level. But hey, you guys, check this out. I'm gonna give you guys a uh, couple things. I'm gonna give you guys my top three favorite metrics, and I'll give you guys my top three favorite features on this. But really quick, at the end of this, I'm gonna answer questions for you guys. So right now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop questions down below, all right? So you guys, yeah, I've been playing since I was three years old. I've been coached for about 12 years, and I'll be honest, I'm a very old school guy when it comes to coaching. I've never really been about metrics. I've never really been about, you know, data, right? Metrics has really been popular the past five, to, you know, eight years, right? But something that really, really motivated me about Blast and in just data and measurements and metrics is accountability. The reason why I like accountability is you can literally track the hits the sessions, the flight, the degree, the bat speed of your player, of yourself, and you could, you could showcase accountability for the player, for your son, for your daughter. Me as a coach, I'm very big on, hey, you gotta do the work at home, you gotta do the work by yourself. And when I see that they did their sessions, now I get to see if they got better or if they even did any work at all. So that's one of my favorite things on why I teamed up with Blast is, I'm so big on accountability and growing that Blast literally documents every single swing. So that is why I'm an ambassador for Blast Motion. So yeah, my top three favorite metrics are bat speed, rotational acceleration, and plane score. If you guys don't know bat speed, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone knows bat speed. You know, MLB, they showcase it all the time. You know, Aaron Judge has 105 exit veal off the bat. Um, you know, Mike Trout, 100 off the bat. It's just, it documents on how quick your bat speed is, right? The reason why I like bat speed is you have a better understanding on how efficient your swing is. Like I said, is I've always been an old school guy when it comes to your swing. And I'm so big on cleaning up your swing and make sure your swing is super efficient that once you do that, once you understand your swing, then measure it with blast. It really showcases how clean your swing is and how sweet, uh, short and sweet your swing can be through the zone, right? One of my favorite things to do with my clients is I will put a blast on their back in the first 10 swings, the first 10 swings I've ever seen. And then whether it's at the end of the session or at the end of the year, you get to see the progression on how fast and how strong uh, their swing progressed. The second metric I love is rotational acceleration. What the rotational acceleration is, is it measures how quickly your bat accelerates on plane with the pitch. So what that means is quick hands and power, right? So it, it really reminds you on how in sync your body is. It showcases if you are leaking the front side or if you're dragging the back side, right? So rotational acceleration to me is one of my favorites because if you could clean up your swing and you could showcase the numbers that you're doing it super well, that leads to showcasing your exit velo and how strong it is, right? That to me is my favorite, is rotational acceleration. My last one is plane score. So plane score measures how early you get on plane with the ball and how deep in the zone you can hit a ball. So to make it really simple is it measures your finish through the baseball, right? So let me give you a, a bat right here. So it measures from when you get on playing with the ball and how deep it is you get through the baseball or, or you make contact with the baseball. So I believe this score is from 20 to 80, right? A perfect score is an 80. So what that means is, let's just say you get on playing and then you make contact and you get through it, that is a perfect score. But what if you get like a 20 and you hit it right here and you finish right here, that probably means you're popping up or vice versa. If you're hitting it here and finishing here, that probably means you're chopping down on it, right? So it helps you understand finishing through the baseball. It's really tough to teach, but if you can showcase that visual and showcase the score and obviously showcase the feel, put it all together, then you kind of have you know a great swing or you can feel what a great swing is. My top three features for Blast is obviously the visuals, right? So number one is launch angle or launch angle goal, right? I've never been in the metrics, right? But this allows me to show the visual on just how they're doing in general, 
What if a kid just keeps popping up? What if a kid just keeps chopping down on the ball? And you're teaching them how to feel a certain way, but now they get to literally see why their bat angle is going down, or why their bat angle is going up, or why their bat angle is going through the baseball, right? So now it's it's educating whether they're a kid, whether they're a teenager or even adult, it educates them on a certain feel and a certain look. So that's one is launch angle goal. Number two is the spray chart, right? If you're hitting in a cage, you get a feel, if you've, if you've been around the game for a while, you get a feel for where that ball is gonna go. Whether it's, you know, down line, uh, oppo, right center, left center, deep, whatever the case is. But with spray chart, it showcases to that player where the ball ends up or how far that ball ended up, right? I'm an advocate on teaching not hits or outs, but really good hit or bad hit. Right, was that a good piece? Was that, did that feel good? Well, now you could showcase on your phone how good of a piece it was. Look, that, that you would hit an oppo, and that went 250 right center for a double or triple, right? So now it gives your kids or gives the players an idea on how well they hit the baseball. Lastly, for my uh, top three favorite feature is sessions, right? Just like what I told you guys about accountability. Accountability to me, is not doing it for the coach, not doing it for your, your parents, but really doing it for yourself. Hey, Johnny, did you do your work? Boom, here's my sessions, right? Hey, Johnny, how, how well did you do this past week? You get to see the numbers grow. You get to see the numbers rise, right? So labeling each session, whether you take you know multiple sessions a day, but labeling each session will showcase the progression on the players over time, right? Like I told you guys, like, I love putting a, a blast motion sensor on their on their bat the first 10 swings the first 10 swings of their session and then i'll put a blast on their bat and showcase it i don't know at the end of the session or even in three to six months and showcase hey johnny look at your numbers without thinking look at your numbers how clean of a swing your uh your swing is and how efficient your swing is without even thinking about it right making it super super natural so you guys, that's why I'm so passionate about Blast Motion is because you could take something super simple and incorporate it into a swing and it'll help whether you're a coach, obviously I'm a coach, I used to be a former player, whether you're a coach or a player, it simplifies how to get better. And not only that, it you could learn from your phone right then and there. So whether you're a player by yourself and you don't have the access to a coach, you get to teach yourself on how to adjust. You get to teach yourself on how to uh, progress. You get to teach yourself, even with the features that Blast has on the app, to get better. So with that, guys, those are my top three favorite metrics, my top three favorite features. If you guys have any questions, please feel up, put it down. I'm super happy and super excited to, uh, to answer them. Uh, what's the best drill to improve on rotational acceleration? Uh, to be honest, I love my split grip. There's two names I call it, split grip or uh, hockey stick grip, right? So uh, here's my, shout out to my son, Mikolo. Here's my bat right here. I will teach the split grip, okay? So, so I'm a lefty, I don't know how this camera's working, but I'm a lefty. I love teaching a stationary posture, no stride, no step, right here, load, and how quick this movement is, right here, especially on the backside. If you're doing this and rotating on your front side, you're just gonna leak your front side and drag your back side. So split grip, if you guys go on my Instagram, I, I'm pretty sure I put a, a video of a split grip, but it's the split of a grip, rotating on backside, getting on plane and finishing through. One of my favorite drills, you could do that for oppo, middle and pull. So again, if you, I, I swing at 33, 30, I'll split it maybe about, what is that? Three and a half, four inches load and work on how quick or how strong you're rotating on your backside, right? It, once you do that, once you get a feel for that, then you can see the difference on how strong your swing is. I also like um, top hand, <clears throat> top hand isolation. So literally getting a short bat. I mean, my short bat is very similar to this. Uh, depending on your age or depending on your strength, I'll go top hand on shoulder, whether you want to go stationary, meaning athletic or even standing up, just rotating on backside and laying the backside to finish and pointing through and not dragging, not uh, swing too early, but it's rotating 
and finishing through top hand isolation is one of my favorites to understanding a uh, rotational acceleration all right with that guys my name is la gamo i'm a blast motion ambassador this is the third episode of blast motion ig live series be sure to follow along for uh, more in the near future you guys you guys have a wonderful day